Hey guys, Ryu here with Narvid for Blender. This one we're gonna be talking about the ideal number of segments in your bevel. And I can tell you by now it's gonna be uneven. So 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, etc. Okay, and the reasons for it are two at least. And I'll show you both, okay? Just quickly before we start, guys, if you would like to improve your skills in hard surface modeling or in Blender in general, then consider joining our Patreon where we have tons of educational materials, courses, critiques, you know, decal packs, etc. There's a fantastic course coming to February uh, for add-ons and vanilla. We're going to have some cool spaceship with sub demodeling and bullions and also some Unreal Engine stuff. So check us out. Link in the video description. Thanks. So let's make this corner a bit, you know, a bit sharpish, yeah? So I'm going to move this in here like that. And we're going to bevel this, all right? So I'm going to apply a bevel, which is, you know, a three-segmented bevel. I'm going to make it a bit bigger, okay, like that. And notice the, the edge here, right? So what I'm going to start adding segments, let's add five, six, seven. And now it's a round, which means there's enough geometry for it to you know for the bevel to wrap around and create a nice edge but watch what happens when i'm gonna add the eighth one boom see what i mean and then 9 10 11 12 and now it's just so much geo that it's gonna be round no matter what but um in this situation here you can cl clearly see the difference between you know seven and eight so eight you know which is more resolution should be much more round but it isn't and the reason for it is because when i press z with uh with hard ops you can see that the edge just runs a you know just in the middle on the top of this uh of this edge so they kind of overlap whereas with seven you got this break in here so um this you know sharp edge which is in between these two segments uh, simply gets um, smoothed out so that's one reason second reason okay would be for creating game assets so what we're gonna do here is we're going to drop a bevel which is gonna be three four five six seven okay and here we're going to drop a bevel which is going to be eight okay so eight segments right now let me show you the difference uh, between these two. Let's say you created a high poly object and you wanted to drop these bevels a little bit lower to, you know, to um, to make this less round so you can bake high poly to low poly. Now, naturally, what you're going to do is, you know, reduce the geo and bevels are fantastic, you know, places where you can save a lot of geo. So when you remove the segments, you know, you're good to go. The problem is that, um, whereas, you know, on this uneven um, segment number bevel you can easily select bevels in between uh, in here you can't because you know there's an even number of segments and if you remove this this you know one of these edges right um, that actually hold the bevel you will disturb the flatness and sort of uh, the direction of the surface here you don't want to do that. You want to decrease the number of segments without actually um, changing the shape of the geometry, right? So, you if you remove, you know, these here, right? So I'm going to wait a minute. I'm going to dissolve these. I'm going to go to top view and I'll show you the difference, right? So let me just dissolve them. Boom. The bevel, you know, resolution changed, but nothing else did. Whereas when I do this in here, you will see that this face here will shift okay boom see what i mean wait a minute um one more time there we go and now let's remove that boom see that this face moved a bit just moved a little bit and that's a problem so when you're doing something in the hard surface remember to use an even number of bevels and um, this will always going to produce the best results. There's a reason why the default bevel in hard ops is three segmented bevel. And also the reason why when you create something which is a low poly, you're using um, mid poly beveling, which is basically one segmented bevel. So we're going to drop it to one, right? And introduce 
way to normals and you can see that the, even though there are only two edges uh this you know edge here is kind of a round well that's it guys that's why you should have an even number of segments in bevels uh whatever you're modeling anything really unless you know it doesn't matter but i would still recommend using an even number thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed the vid give us a like and sub if you did and i'll catch you in the next video